Hey there kids, it's me again. Coming at you once more to let you know we have released a new build of our game. Just yesterday we released version 0.4 and I won't be taking too much time but I thought I'd show off just the, the biggest features we've implemented while leaving out some minor secrets for you to play the game and see for yourself. As usual, the build is available on race.no. I'll post everything you need to know in the description of this video, but yeah, without further ado. The first thing uh, that was done pretty recently was uh, I'm this, uh, I went through, I went over the data code uh, or the data system we had and I repurposed that into making a sort of cast or spell system and I, I implemented the first psy psychic power. So we, uh, I, I may have said before that we aim for the player to have, uh, we want the player to have some sort of psychic abilities. And so I made this little force push with a smoke animation that I absolutely did myself and I did not steal it from the internet. But yeah, it gives the enemies a little knockback factor. If I can over here, get over here. It throws them into the air. We'll definitely scale up that knockback for the next uh, next version. The priority right now is just making it work. So it's not too effective right now, but I'll find a way to repurpose it and to actually make it useful in the final game. There's some UI changes, most notably as you can see here there's a energy bar now that we actually have a use for energy. You'll see it goes down when I use my when I use my spell. I we have we have it bound to one weapon as well. So, or if if you execute a weapon with a special attack, then the energy will go down, and it will recharge painfully slowly. So, you may or may not find find that we have put some energy globes in the level, or we have it now, but we might we we might do that to make it a bit more that you actually have to actively seek out and defeat enemies to restore your energy. Uh, the final thing which Martin was done with, I believe yesterday or the day before that, is, as you might have already heard, we have a completely new audio system. So before we used a third party library called FMod, which pretty much, pretty much everyone, or not everyone, but a lot of, a lot of studios, or intermediate to bigger studios use, we found that it didn't, it wasn't too compatible with our web release, so we wouldn't get any sound when we played in the browser. Uh, and also, it was doing all kinds of things. It was messing around with our our dependencies when we built the game. Uh, Hua, my programmer guy, he did a, he did some redefinition of assembly that I know nothing about, but he just mag magically made everything work again. Uh, so. It, in short, it was all just issues upon issues with FMOD. So Martin went ahead and redid everything using Unity's own audio compo uh, audio system. We plan on implementing things like Panorama and 3D Sound. Right now we sort of have 3D Sound, but it doesn't really work that well. You may or may not hear some quirks. And there's a new sound effects for everything as well. So if I Let's show some off here. That's when you get the shield. It sounds pretty metallic. And so another thing we have to implement is that there would should be different flesh, uh, flesh or metallic sound depending on which actor you hit with your weapon. But yeah, that is more or less everything, uh, or everything I should say. We've done a lot under hood, hood as well, but those are the biggest changes we made. So, as for next release, we aim to release in the middle of March, March 16th, I believe we set the deadline for, and we aim to keep that, and right now I'm looking at a lot of issue fixings and cleanup since the last release, but after that, I'm looking at my list here, and there's four things that I want to implement, and those are upgrades for your weapon, so when you open the inventory menu, you should see, to the side here, you should see a little bar that says, if you select the weapon, you can equip it with different upgrades that change its properties. We want to implement boss mechanics so we can have more old Nintendo style bosses that have faces and they have animations where they expose their weak point and you can shoot them and deal damage. 
uh, rebindable controls for keyboard and joystick and fall damage because how ridiculous does this not look? That is... So I, I've read engineering physics and I can tell he should definitely have broken his bones there. So we'll see if, uh, if fall damage is something we decide to keep for the final game, but at least we would like to have it in place. So it's not too much of a bother if we decide to implement it later. This is... Ah, uh, and yes. With that, with those things I just said, we will be more or less done with the systems phase. Which I've been promising for a long time now that we we're actually going to be done with that. But now we will actually, actually be done with it. And then it's time to a actually enter the content development phase, which is when... Uh, something that I've been looking forward to a, lot of, a long time, because then we can actually start putting things in the, making things and putting them into the level making more assets more more sprite work uh, yeah and all that so my hope is that I will be more motivated to release now that we actually make uh, changes that you can actually see very quickly so I aim to release a few pieces of concept art or like a sprite sheet or two regularly hopefully every week yeah, in short, uh, since the visible development of the game will be speeding up, uh, I'll have a lot more stuff to show. So I will definitely be posting these videos a little bit more often then. But yeah, I will not be keeping more of your time. I will let you play the game at your own leisure and say, oh, there's nothing more to say now. Until next time. Goodbye.